Hey guys, here we have the AC Infinity multi-series table cooling fan is what they call it. It's a USB powered fan. This is the Multifan S7. And in here is the opening of the box. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with it. So let me go ahead and get this out just so we can take a little bit of a better look at it. Out of the box, this is what we have. This is two 120 millimeter fans. And these things have nice rubber on each side of them. You can place them up or down so you have blowing in or out wherever you want to put them. And also you can unscrew these rubbers if you want to so that they will lie flat on whatever you're putting them on, which for my use I might do. I'm going to try them with the rubber first. That'll help reduce any noise or vibration. But without that, it'll be flatter and you can uh, maybe get it to suck more air depending on what you're going to be using it for. So you get two fans. And as you can see, the fans are going to be fairly close together. Let me see if I can show this. We got one cord coming in here and then one cord oof, coming off here, which I'm having trouble showing how long it is. It looks like they can get, well, they can get a pretty far way apart, actually. It looks like I'm about three feet apart or so. Or you can put them right next to each other. But you have a limited amount that you can separate these, but it looks about three feet. So people often use these in um, entertainment center cabinets and such as that. I'm actually going to be putting these just on the top of my computer because my computer has like an open airflow system. And I'll show you that in a second. And we're going to go ahead and test how much it can lower my computer temperatures. This just simply plugs into a USB. You can plug it into your computer or the wall. And then here we have our controller, and it has low, medium, high, and off. So let's go ahead and see how they work. Of course, you also get your instruction manual, and then you get a little zip tie here, I guess. And then I'm not sure what this little uh, one stick thing is for. We have two fans, but we only get one of these. So I don't really know what that's for, but I'll figure it out. All right, so here's the top of my case. And my plan is to put them on top, sucking air up out, just to help really increase airflow. This is a screen filter that's always on here, magnetically in place. But as you can see underneath, it's just all open air, basically, just holes everywhere. So we're going to put these on and test the temperature with them off, with them on, and see what this does for my CPU and GPU temperatures under high load. I just put them on. I haven't fully set them up or anything yet, but I just wanted to show how they fit. And I do plan to make them both sucking up out of the case, but it might actually be worthwhile to put one in the front blowing in and one in the back sucking out. I'll have to test that and see what I think is the best and what works the best. I actually don't know which way is which yet until I test them and feel the airflow. But I'm going to get them hooked up and then we'll give them a test. Also, one last thing before we move on. This one, we plug into the wall or the computer this one over here is actually an extender. You can plug in another set of these fans, or you could use this USB-C to charge something. So it's just kind of an extra USB sitting there. It's really meant to plug in more fans if you wanted to plug two or three or four of these units together. Uh, I don't know how many you can plug together before it'd be too much power or starting to lose uh, you know, enough power to run the fans at full speed, but you can use this for those purposes. Testing time, my fans are off, and I have been playing, oops, sorry about that, glowing light, Fortnite here for about 25-30 minutes, and as you can see there, our temperatures are 57-70. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn on these fans and see if that lowers our temperature while we're playing. I'll come back in about 5 minutes after playing some more and see what these get down to. It's been about 10 minutes later now, and I've just been playing. And it looks like it actually did something. We were at like 56 for the CPU and like 70 for the GPU. Looks like we were lowered about 3 and 4 to 5 degrees. So that's actually pretty amazing. I can't say for sure exactly, uh, you know, the performance everyone else will get. It'll depend on your case and how you have these things set up. But hey, to lower it by a couple degrees even is pretty awesome. Playing a little longer, now I'm under 60 on the GPU. Usually I'm over 60 on GPU no matter where I am. I am kind of just in an easy place right now, but ran around some more and went in this bush. Takes a little more uh, processing to be in the bushes. Still, still down those few degrees. 
So I'm pretty impressed with these. They work pretty good, very easy just to add to any case. They're also great for entertainment centers, for routers, for Xboxes, Playstations and such. Mine I just have plugged in to USB here and here's the controller. So I can just reach down under my desk at any time and turn it from, you know, high, medium, low off. And when they're on high, I can barely hear them over my case. My CPU fan is uh, pretty consistently at like a 60%, I think I have it set at. And I can hear it, but barely. And these fans, I can notice them when they're in high, but it's a very neutral sound. It's not annoying at all. And on medium or low, I don't hear them at all. So I'll probably just leave these on medium all the time and they'll just provide some extra airflow back here in my corner and sucking a little bit of air out of the case. But pretty cool. I'll link them below if you guys want to check them out. They have one and two fan models in this uh, size. They also have some other sizes. Um, They've got a 140 size. They got 80 millimeter sizes. But pretty cool things. Have any questions, let me know. We'll see y'all later.